Hello, I'm Gordon Ritchie with Cole Morgan, and this is Two Minutes of Motion. This segment is on the AKD Scope Tool Advanced Use, and is part three. In this segment, we will be taking a closer look at different trigger methods and when we might use these different methods to help us troubleshoot a system. Sometimes it is helpful to capture data when the drive is active or more when the drive is deactivated, such as when a fault occurs. We can set the trigger source to drive active. Position works the same as before and will record the data to be placed in the buffer, defined by the value for the position. Since the level will be going from 1 to 0, the scope will be set to the negative slope. The scope is set to record velocity commanded, velocity feedback, and drive active. It is armed and we use the service motion to run the motor up to 2400 RPM. The scope is ready to capture data. When the drive is disabled, the scope records the data, then displays it showing the motor coasting to a stop. This data can be used to troubleshoot the system. Another common method is to trigger when the velocity command has gone above a set level. Two parameters are available to help in this respect. The first is VL.CMD, which is velocity command, that will be given to the drive during X cell and D cell and for holding position. This can be used at any time and when set correctly will provide excellent results. If, however, you want to focus on the velocity command only during a commanded motion, we can use Motion Task Velocity Command, or MT.VCMD. This will only monitor and trigger off the command that occurs during the actual move as defined in the motion task. If your system must hold position while the load is changing, but you want to begin recording data as soon as the command goes above 0.5 RPM, using VL.CMD might give false triggers. MT.VCMD will ignore any command but associated with the motion task. As we look at the trigger source available, we begin to understand the versatility of the scope tool, and our imagination can conjure up many scenarios in which the tool can be helpful. I suggest you take the opportunity to play with the features and experiment with different triggers available. I'm Gordon Ritchie for Two Minutes of Motion. I hope to see you in the next segment.